sings its final tune tonight, and we have an exclusive chat with the cast today. But before that, a shake-up for One Direction as one of the band members drops out of the tour. One D member Zayn Malik has dropped out of the band's current tour of Asia. A statement from their publicist says Zayn has been signed off with stress and is flying back to the UK to recuperate. The band wish him well and will continue their performances in Manila and Jakarta. This stress leave comes just after reports surfaced earlier this week accusing Malik of cheating on his fiance. The 22 year old is engaged to singer Perry Edwards, but rumors started after this photo surfaced online showing him with another woman. Malik tweeted in response, I love a girl named Perry Edwards, and there's a lot of jealous f in this world. I'm sorry for what it looks like. Malik and fellow band member Louis Tomlinson were also reportedly being asked to post bonds of nearly $5,000 by the Philippines Bureau of Immigration, which they would need to forfeit if caught smoking marijuana while performing in the country. This after a video of the two sharing what appeared to be a joint surfaced last May. Justin Bieber may be trying to change his ways, but it seems he can't escape his past. The Biebs is being sued again by the same former neighbor whose house the singer egged last year. That man is now suing the singer for causing him and his wife emotional distress. Jeff Schwartz claims Bieber's bodyguards use anti-Semitic slurs against them. He also alleges Bieber threatened to kill him and spit in his face, along with other examples of unneighborly conduct. Bieber paid $80,000 in restitution to the Schwartzes following a gate, they are seeking unspecified damages in this lawsuit. Joseph Gordon Levitt is bringing a children's classic to life. The actor is signed on to produce and star in a live action big screen adaptation of Fraggle Rock, the musical puppet series created by Jim Henson. The project has been in development since 2005. Tonight, Glee is taking its final bow, and as the cast prepares to say goodbye for good, they open up to us exclusively about the most heartbreaking moment during the show's run, the loss of Cory Monty. Just a small town girl, living in a lonely world. We can't think about Glee without thinking about Cory. Right, of course, and you know, Cory was on our mind well, ever since he left us, but especially in the last three days of shooting. This has been tough. This has been tough, and it's been an emo um, emotional roller coaster ride. Monteith was found dead of a heroin and alcohol overdose in his Vancouver hotel room in 2013 during the summer hiatus between seasons four and five. The Canadian actor was just 31. Never really felt like the same show once he once he was gone, and it's like you know it'll never be right. He made such an impact on everybody that had any kind of interaction with him. He was always a sweetheart, and I miss him so much. Glee star Leah Michelle who was Monty's real-life girlfriend at the time of his death, took something special from the set to remember him by. What was it about yeah. Corey's jersey that meant that much to you to, for that to be the item that you left with? Well, th what people don't know is that I actually stole a lot more than that. So I'm just glad right now that people think that's the only thing I took. It was an awful thing to have lost him, but uh, you know what Glee is, he is such a big part of it that, you know, he'll always be a part of the, the positive memories that people will take from the show. Catch Glee's series finale in two back-to-back -back episodes tonight on City. When we look back on our time here, we should be proud. And for all you Gleeks out there, we want to know what you'll miss most about the show. All you have to do is tweet us at Ant City.